Imagine angels on a distant planet in a distant solar system, even perhaps. Maybe angels on Pleiades plucking their harps, doing what angels do. Um, that's not us. We have a, actually a couple of harp players in our midst, but there's a lot else that's going on on planet Earth. We have war and ignorance. Autocracy rising. So many things. What I want to put to you is that we are the first responder angels. We're not plucking our harps out on, on the Pleiades or on Venus. No, we're the first responders. We rushed into the building, this building, this planet, this body of humanity. We came here. We said, yes, that's me. It's not everybody's to do. As we awaken ourselves, we perhaps awaken to the fact that we are ready and we are willing and we are able to do the job that we're here to do, to bring what I'll use a big word, salvation. We're here to bring awakening to a world that has gone to sleep, that has forgotten who it is, to people who have forgotten who they are. We are here to address the spiritual malaise that is behind all the troubles that are suffered in this world. We're the first responders. That's why I'm here at Sunrise Ranch. I'll leave it for you to say why you're here. I came here in 2000 as a first responder. Went rushing into the building. Because I knew that there was something that was needed and that I had something to bring to the situation so that Sunrise Ranch could fulfill its destiny, its destiny to be a lighthouse for the world, to be a sun for the world. But that takes people who are ready, willing, and able to allow it to be that doesn't happen all by itself. It doesn't happen just because of its legacy. It doesn't happen because of the deer and the elk and the beautiful valley. Oh, all that's wonderful and contributes to it. No, it happens because of us. Because we're here ready and willing and able. So what do we do? What is this work that we are doing? using that grand word of salvation? What is the spiritual medicine that we are bringing and how are we bringing it? We are bringing something to the world. We could say the radiation or the flow of something. We are bringing a powerful flow to the world. That's step one. Step one. We are bringing a powerful flow to the world, a flow of the water of truth. The flow of the water of realization about who we are, all of us, and why we're here. And the next thing for any of us, wherever we are, Sunrise Ranch or any place else, we have to bring it in a way that a person could receive it. No. You could shout it from the rooftops, but if no one's listening or wants to hear or listens or can relate to what you're saying, it's kind of game over. Nothing much more is happening if that's what's going on. And then if it is received, 
And if it is something truthful and loving and beautiful, what is the most natural thing in the world that happens for a person when they receive that from you? Something loving and truthful, something revealing about who they are and who we all are. There is a response to that that is the most natural thing in the world. A love response. Yep, that's me. <laughs> that's me. That's what I experienced here many moons ago with a message I heard. Yep, that is me. You are talking to me. And then the person has to do something. Something else is required. Awareness, realization, awakening, one's own. And then that person has to have the courage to find the ways that give form and embody that inner reality and let it come on the outside, be shown on the outside, be revealed through the person. So I believe we're here because we are the first responders. We are the first responders. We are the ones who came rushing to this planet and to humanity, starting with our own. It's a pretty brave thing to do to incarnate as a human being, right? Into this flesh with all that's gone on in human history. That was our first brave act. And then that's only the beginning because we first have to awaken to, that's, to the fact that that's what's going on. And then we have to be willing and courageous enough to express that. We ourselves express the light, find ways to say it. We're here to do that, to let that reverberate in the world, ready and willing and able to be emissaries of divine light, not just in name, not just in legacy, not just as a corporate logo. No, for real, for real. <laughs> 